uh, this next week is actually a very fruitful weekend. We'll reinstate faith in yourself. That's why I called this week Phoenix Rising. It's like you, you rise out of the ashes of your, your own darkness that was quite heavy. Welcome back. Thank you for coming to this week's energy update. My name is Jona Brindis. I'm an energy coach, energy healer and visionary. And together we look into the collective energies of each week here on Fridays. Next week is called uh, Phoenix Rising. It is for the 25th of June till the 1st of July. And this is uh, a very interesting week you will actually feel that things are moving forward a little bit, that you are more in the flow. Uh, this heaviness and this fogginess that you experienced maybe last week or the last two weeks, like right around the solstice, is lightening up. But there's a lot of stuff going on on the outside in the collective. So uh, the, the main energy that wants to come in right now is a more positive and more optimistic uh, kind of attitude to with your life, to with anything that you are trying to accomplish. And uh, it will feel a little bit like weekend. So it's a good week to socialize, to allow things yeah, to, to, to just work for you. It's uh, something that many of us energetically sensitive are actually not that good in. Yeah, to just receive, to just allow the energy to flow into you. Yeah, so it's a bit more. Um, mm, I want to say it has less resistance, but it also comes with a very energetic energy for you. At first, we'll just feel this as individuals, something like enthusiasm, even. Yeah, where you can see things through. So if you have plans, um, maybe you have travel plans, maybe you want to move, maybe you want to change your job, maybe you have been working on something for a long time. Uh, this next week is actually a very fruitful weekend. We'll reinstate faith in yourself. That's why I called this week Phoenix Rising. It's like you, you rise out of the ashes of your, your own darkness that was quite heavy. However, I do need to say that this sleepiness that we have had here in these last two weeks. Sleepiness, is that the right word? Who of you has felt really tired? More than normal. Yeah, is that something that you've experienced as well? Like we're just unexplainably, yeah, tiredness, sleepiness, okay? And uh, this is had to do with the energies um, off the solstice, it's a very deep energy. It's a very, um, uh, you know, sort of internalized experience. And you will see here when I go into the July energies that that will continue. So your job is not to get lost in the rabbit hole. Your job is to actually work with those energies. And this is also the reason why I do these energy forecasts or these, these weekly updates because it allows you to prepare yourself or to better contextualize what is going on. So as we are moving through this weekend, so this weekend may feel just like you can, you know, put your feet up and relax um, on the inside. On the outside, there's a lot going on and you will feel this uh, right around uh, Sunday, Monday, energies will be building in our societies. There is an uprising energy that forms here uh, really to with the 1st and 2nd of July. Yeah, and uprising can be a good thing for us personally. But when it happens in, in our collective, in our society, where there's maybe a, a subject that uh, people are very unhappy about or very positionalized about, uh, we've had a lot of that here in these last two years about vaccines, about COVID, about this and this and that, the mandates and so forth. Uh, most of that is gone now. But what you will see 
is that there are fundamental changes on the way that um, you will begin to realize that the long-term effect of this. So here in the United States, just as, as an, an update that this morning, just a few hours ago, uh, the fundamental right for um, the constitu constitutional right for abortions, for example, was withdrawn. This is a huge big thing, you know, it, it may not seem for you that it affects you in any way, but there are things on the go yeah, that will start compounding this next week. So this, this enthusiastic energy can also turn sour. It can turn into uh, like unrest among people. Um, don't worry about it too much. Uh, since I've already looked into July, uh, it's not quite yet coming out. So this will take another month. But uh, recognize that and understand where... Uh, maybe some of your inner agitation comes from. Yeah, at this point here, today and over the weekend and the beginning of next week, really enjoy this sort of life force flowing back into you. Yeah, this this rebirth feeling, like you can feel yourself again. You can be in your body again. You can feel feelings again. Two at the end of the week. There will be big emotions coming forward. And that's something that I know some of us are not quite comfortable with. So understand that the, the problem of dealing with your emotions always comes from resisting your emotions. In other words, we have a certain mindset, we have a certain judgment about certain kinds of emotions right this and this we want to feel and we embrace it and but this we don't want to feel we don't want to feel anger we don't want to feel frustration we don't want to feel pain we don't want to feel regrets and when those what we perceive as negative feelings set in um, we all apply something like an like an ego defense yeah like some kind of coping mechanism and that then leaves those energies um, uh, sort of they start accumulating in you and uh, from an energetic perspective um, unresolved emotions aren't really um, you know uh, more or less important than they are for psychologists say so that that, that goes hand in hand but um, from an energetic point of view an unresolved emotion and if that is something that uh, is, is happening in a repeating or recurring way, yeah, can form its own energetic entity. Yeah? And especially these ego defenses that we build around it, these coping mechanisms that we form to not feel something. And there is something here that you will find out about yourself when you are really honest with yourself, that for the most part, you have been, mm, you know, trying to compensate for things that are either deficient or that you have an access. It's an addiction in recovery. We see this a lot. Uh, you can, you know, put um, addictions into two categories, addictive behaviors, not just substance addiction. One is, you know, there to increase the intensity and to to, to sort of cover up or, or compensate for a deficiency and the other one um, is uh, more geared towards calming yourself down, numbing yourself, not wanting to feel something. And those of you who have a tendency to numb, to not wanting to feel something, you will feel that this week, even though it feels really, really nice, here's a lot of karma, you know, as far as uh, your inner experience of yourself is concerned here for these next or five days, but uh, you will then sort of experience a bit of a backlash. And there is something that wants to, because there's something that wants to be dealt with that you are not really looking at. Yeah. Those of you who have this um, tendency to wanting more intensity, yeah, to, to, to uh, seeking the dopamine in the next high, you're going to have to tame this a little bit because you're going to feel very enthusiastic here yeah so uh, all these emotions that are coming in they are 
uh, a little amplified. No? So it doesn't have to be bad, but you, you need to use this as an opportunity to learn about yourself and how you process your own emotions. Yeah? Ask yourself, how do these emotions form? And I tell you why this is important, because when you have to make choices, when you um, are in a situation where, let's say you want to improve something, or you want to get something done, or you want to um, bring something into expression, you have to ask yourself uh, if this is in, in uh, congruence with you, if this is authentic. And the only way you can really find out about this is not through your mind, guys. This is why so many of you get stuck in there, is through your feelings. You have to ask yourself, how do I feel about this or this or that? And especially when resistances come in. Yeah, so that's the, the task here for this next week. Um, I can strongly recommend, and those of you that are in regular coaching sessions with me or that have, uh, are part of the Hardware program have already heard me say this, take up new in interests. Uh, go with what inspires you. This is the best way to invite this, this life force that is, that is rising back in you, uh, to invite that back in. And don't do it based on uh, you know, uh, what brings most, uh, what is most functional, what is most transactional, or what gets you the most in an ego sense, but uh, what really inspires you, what, what kind of ignites your passion a little bit. Add something to your life that reminds you of this, this, this beautiful life force yeah, that we can all feel within ourselves if we are not too blocked. Yeah? Um, if you feel that you have a deficiency in your life, then uh, really feel into this and, and you know, consider what you could use uh, to, you know, without avoiding the deficiency, but you know, what you could do differently or ways that you could do or the things that you could use to help yourself, to make it easier for yourself, to open yourself up for whatever it is. So many of you um, may have a, a deficiency in regards to money or in uh, love in your life, yeah? Uh, those are things that you cannot really continue to address by mulling over what you don't have or you know how it's it's this or person's or that person's fault that you don't have this uh, it puts your energy into a place where you more or less unconsciously re-manifest it and the reason why i'm bringing this up here is because this is extremely important for the way the month of july will go for you yeah you really have to understand you have to know yourself you have to know your pet peeves you know you have to know your ego things uh, because uh, July will be uh, emotionally challenging. And if you don't really know how to work with those uh, aspects of yourself, yeah, where your emotions react to either said deficiency or to the opposite, which is the excess, yeah, where you get fixated on getting, having, owning maybe, or uh, where you need more and more and more, you know, like the next high, the next thrill, the next dopamine hit, okay? Uh, these things need to be worked with, guys, because uh, when there's a lot of um, outer stuff going on, okay, it, it, it makes you very susceptible, uh, gullible almost. It makes you, um, you know, almost um, sets you up for confusion, for mind control and deception, be it in your relationship or be it in your um, a job or, or you know the family or uh, society at large so uh, that's something that uh, I would strongly recommend you now that you can relax a little bit here uh, to feel into what would be a great addition to your life what could you add to your daily life that brings in you know something like inspiration that brings in passion yeah so I'm not talking about going to the gym and stuff like that for some of you that may well be the case but I'm talking about things that really speak to your heart you know, that help you to um, to add where there's an efficiency yeah? you may think or your ego mind thinks that if you have a money deficiency if you have a lack of money then you need more money to fix this deficiency right that's 
actually not the case. In energy work, we learn that everything is energy, yeah, and that it's a matter of alignment, which means uh, obviously in coaching, you know, we investigate things such as what's your attitude to it, money, yeah, and what's your sort of family programming around money. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, abundance blocks that we have uh, uh, that we just sort of, uh, you know, took up through osmosis because, you know, grandma always used to say, or, you know, the general uh, attitude to it, uh, money is that, you know, you need to work hard for it and, and things like that. Those kind of beliefs can severely impact your perception and uh, then block uh, your ability to actually see opportunities. So uh, in energy work, we learn that because everything is energy, is that it doesn't actually matter what the content is of of the deficiency or the uh, the the access uh, that it is almost like a like a muscle training yeah if you experience lack as a predominant um, experience emotional experience in your life then you know your task here you really your soul task and and with it also you know part of your your karmic purpose to transmute that to change that to recognize where your thoughts go into this lack and scarcity and uh, to form feasible ways for you to reprogram yourself to rewrite the story to um, you know investigate all these emotions that come with it a lot of us have this belief that we don't deserve certain things yeah uh, that's a spiritual problem so without adding the spiritual component to this you will not really be able to resolve this. Yeah? You will forever feel like an imposter or you will forever feel not good enough. So th this time here now is uh, inviting you to do this, to really work with this. Now, if you are on the excitement seeking, the excess uh, uh, energy uh, end of the spectrum, all right, uh, you need to uh, uh, understand that you know this this push, yeah. This this uh, it's 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 a solar plexus push uh, that that wants you to get more. That you know tries to get things, yeah. It's a, that's why I call it getting, having, owning. Um, that that actually pushes uh, things like true emotions, true love, true um, connection, deeper connection away from you, yeah. Because you're constantly projecting something out that you want, and this could also be attention or validation. Yeah, uh, that uh, makes other people unconsciously take a step back. I don't know if this is coming across, but uh, I'm trying to prepare you here for some of the things that are coming in in July and August because there you need to have a really clear understanding of this. And by the way, you know that um, I teach those things in a systematic way. The energy course uh, starts here at the end of July. It's a wonderful opportunity. Is six. Um, uh, Saturdays in a row, uh, really learning how to decode your own energy. Yeah, no uh, predictions, no channeling, nothing like that. It's very, very down to earth. Learning how to work with your own energy, increasing your energetic perceptivity, and learning, yeah, really how to work with your ego on this level. Yeah, through your energetic sensitivity. It's really. A vital tool I want to say especially if you have identified that you are an energetically sensitive person. Now those of you who are already working with this next week we have the Soul Integrity, the Grace Soul Integrity Marathon. It's the top of the line uh, most advanced uh, um, energy healing modality uh, that we offer here at Transcodes and we do this of three days straight, nine sessions, uh, with the communication in between the sessions, uh, going really, really deep into the relationship with your higher self, with your soul self. And there you can learn what these spiritual actions that I talked about last week, uh, what they actually do in the etheric and why it's important uh, to keep an eye on how you bring yourself into this world, how you express yourself in this world. It's really, really important. Yeah, so have a nice uh, weekend week, yeah, but remember it's the phoenix rising in you and uh, there are, uh, you know, sort of ripple effects uh, in our society that we will see, see 
uh, very soon in uh, the first week of uh, July. If you uh, have a business, if you are invested in the money markets, um, there are uh, some important dates that I'm going to illuminate here uh, in the energy forecast discussion. Um, as for this uh, coming week, uh, enjoy the fruits of your labor, yeah, but uh, don't go back into this emotional um, numbing here, yeah, like really work with your emotions, yeah, work with the appreciation and gratitude for all that you have instead of, you know, sort of going on to the next thing, yeah, that you don't have, that's something that happens quite often. Yeah, I'll be on my way to Iceland tomorrow and the next energy update and energy talk will be from there. Yeah, so that's, uh, uh, it will be interesting for you. Uh, so next Wednesday, the energy talk will be uh, from Iceland. Um, I don't know how the, the sound and lighting conditions are going to be like, but uh, maybe you can see a little bit in the background. Yes. Thank you for coming. Please comment please ask questions here in the commentary the video will be available on youtube as always see you bye bye